Let's take a look at this number. The 2021st root of square root 3 plus square root 2 plus the 2021st root of square root 3 minus square root 2. Here comes the question. Can we write this number as a fraction? Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This number has a very special property, is that the components highlighted in yellow, one is the reciprocal of the other. Whenever we see some numbers like this, there, this gives a slight, slight chance for this number to become a rational number. Here's an example. The cube root of 2 plus root 5 plus the cube root of 2 minus root 5 is actually rational. And in fact, this number is equal to 1. You can try this on your own. But for the number that we are talking about, the 2021st root of the two numbers added together, this number is actually irrational, which means it cannot be written as a fraction. So now I'm going to prove this. To prove this, first I'm going to show I'm going to justify a claim. Is that for some real number, I call it x. If this number, as in the number itself plus the reciprocal of, of itself, is rational, then the claim is for all natural numbers n, x to the n plus 1 over x to the n is also rational. And I'm going to prove this by performing something called a strong induction. On the natural number n. What I mean by strong induction is that I, I still start by proving statement to be true when n equals 1. That's my still my first step but for the induction step I'm going to assume that this statement is true for all n that is less than or equal to k. This is different from the usual induction because for the usual induction, we only assume the statement is true for, um, for the case n equals to k, but not all cases n less than or equal to k. But this will still work. And I'm, I'm just going to use this to show that the k plus 1 case is also true. So this is strong, what we call by strong induction. When n equals 1, it's obvious. Because it's just the same number. Now I turn to assume that the statement is true. For all n that is less than or equal to k, some natural number k, which means this expression is rational for all n that is less than or equal to k. Now for the k plus 1 case, I'm going to rewrite it as the product of x to the k plus 1 over x to the k times x plus 1 over x. This will give x to the k plus 1 plus 1 over x to the k plus 1, but it's just part of it. It gives an extra term of x to the k minus 1 plus 1 over x to the k minus 1, so I have to subtract it to make both sides equal. Now, these three terms, they are actually all rational numbers by the induction hypothesis.
because this expression x to the k minus 1 plus 1 over k minus 1 plus x to the k plus 1 over x to the k are all rational by the induction hypothesis. That's why I'm, I use strong induction here instead of the usual induction because I have to make sure that this expression, the k minus 1 case, is also true. Therefore, we've completed the induction step and we are done. So now we have this result, which means that if we have this number, this number to be rational, then the 2021st power of each term, which means we have take this number to the 2021st power plus the other term, which is actually just this reciprocal, which equals to root 3 plus root 2 plus root 3 minus root 2, and that's 2 root 3, should also be rational. But this is clearly not true because we know that root 3 is obviously not rational. So we have finished the proof that the number that we are addressing is irrational. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.